Hi everyone, today I am sharing with you this quick get ready with me for Art Basel Miami. And the first thing I'm doing is starting with my Shea Moisture Soothing Toner and Hydrating Mist. This is really great because it's for redness prone skin. It has matcha green tea and probiotics. When I first tried this, I did feel a little bit of itchiness and I don't know, I'm a little skeptical, but I keep using it to see if it's, if it's really gonna work for me or not. So here I'm using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I do like it because it's very smoothing, but I definitely want to try something new. As well as this Hourglass Brow Pencil, this is in the color Warm Brunette. It's a very thick kind of brow pencil, so it's harder to be precise with this. I'm definitely ready to get my hands on Desi Perkins Balm Mask Brow Kit. This is a Guerlain BB cream and it was nice for the beginning of the day but it ended up making my skin a little bit greasy. Now I am going in with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer and I do love it. It's so full coverage and it just really illuminates and it, it goes so well on the skin and it's very easy to blend. I am using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Neutral as an eyeshadow base. I like it because it covers any sort of redness or veins that I have in my eyes before going in with any sort of eyeshadow. Now I am going in with a Real Techniques brush and this is just going to help smooth out that concealer that I put down. And now I am carving out my eyebrows just a little bit to help define them a little bit more. And here I am using my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer once again. I'm also using a Olimar Cosmetics brush. This is the one that is like a flat shader brush. I love this for detailed work. Now I'm going to go in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. This is going to help set my eyes and all of that concealer that I put down before I go in with eyeshadow. I'm going back in with the Real Techniques brush just to smooth out my under eyes and make sure everything is creaseless before setting it down with powder. I'm going in with the color Necessary from the Desi X Katie Frontcation Palette with Dose of Colors. What I'm doing to find the crease of my eye, I tilt my head back when I'm looking in the mirror and then that just helps me define it a little bit better and I just keep packing on the same color and to deepen it rather than adding a darker color. Now for the fun part. These are the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I couldn't find the exact name of them, but they are in the goldish color. I got these in my BoxyCharm and I am loving it. It's definitely better to apply with your finger, but I just found that with a brush on your eyes, it makes it a little more precise. I also got this product in my BoxyCharm. This is the Jante Blue Glittering Star Eyeliner. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this is really nice. It's in the black color and it has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's nothing too overwhelming. Now I'm going in with an Olimar Cosmetics brush. This is a flat brush and I'm just going to use that to blend out and smoke out the eyeliner that I put down. This is the easiest way to get a winged eyeliner effect without it taking 25 years. And I'm using the color Necessary from the palette and I just wanted to find my lower lash line a little bit more without darkening it too much. Now to get a little bit more of a precise wing, I am using the same brush that I used to smudge with the same eyeliner and I'm just running it over and that's just going to create the winged out look and make it a little bit darker as well. So this was a total fail, but I wanted to try out these Lashaholic lashes that I got in my BoxyCharm. 
but since I had a lash lift done, they just would not stay down. So I'm brushing through my natural lashes and I am putting on the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Now that that's over, I'm going to go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with this. And I'm really just going to work it into my cheekbones and all around my face just to give me some life. And I'm using my Note Cosmetics blush again in the color Desert Rose. Nothing new to see here. But to add a little bit of highlight, I'm using this Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil. And I've been really loving this lately. I feel like you can go in with a heavy hand and it just never looks overpowering. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just going to keep bathing myself in highlighter. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out my hair and apply this Bite Beauty lipstick in the color Glaze or Glaze, I'm not sure. Spray my face down and we're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Hi. We're here at Art Basel. So actually we're in Art Miami, not Art Basel. But this Miami. is the... <laughs> this is the VIP. Oh my god. So I was saying, this is the VIP showing. Um, so it's pretty cool. Our basil starts tomorrow. I'll show you guys the time.